to Morden, smack dab in the middle of Manitoba's Corn Belt and home to the 50th annual Morden Corn and Apple Festival. It's the big 5-0, folks. That is a golden anniversary, a golden corn-colored cob covered in golden butter anniversary with a side of apple juice. Standing here with Ron Wheat. He's got a yellow shirt on, so I think that means he knows what he's doing. Hello, Ron. How are you? Just great. Good to see you. What's going on? We're doing corn husking. We've okay. been doing this for many years. And yes. This is the machine that does the work. This is how you husk corn. But we would not be able to feed 60, 70,000 people that That's way. That's right. That will work. Where did you get Don't this machine? Don't put your hands in there. When an old cannery was sold, we had a cannery in this city. Yeah. We had a cannery in the corner, and the owner said, what is this in the corner? I said, these are huskers. We can't let them go. Ron, how many free corns and cob will be served this weekend? I believe this weekend we'll probably run somewhere around 70 to 90,000 corn huskers. You are kidding me. Our truck is about empty. There's more coming. I don't know what I'm about to do, but it's going to get interesting. What's your name, sir? Bob. Hello, Bob. G'day, Rick. Is this your one day of work a year, or do you do other things? Uh, this is mostly my one day of work a year. I do, I do some medicine sometimes. Really? Yes. What kind of medicine? Family medicine. Oh, you're a doctor? Yes. Okay. You Bob, is corn good for you? Morton corn will give you five more years of life. There you go. Okay. Hey, hello. Step right up and get your corn. Less sugar than a banana. There you go. Put that one in your pocket for later. Look, this is why I'm here. Oh, the Dave Pinter's here. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no, no. You have your own show now. That's the way it works. I'm scared of camera. Are you? Yes. You don't seem like you're scared of much. Yeah, I am. You eat 10, you get a Burton Cummings bobblehead. How do you butter your corn? I um, mean, you take the butter to just okay, all the way around. Oh, so you do the... Yes. Turn uh, around and you... Your... Right in the block of butter. Yep. You just do that. Yep. You don't... You don't... You gotta, be, you gotta get right into the butter. You don't use the knife. No. That's for wimps. Exactly. Who does that? If you do that here, I'm guessing you'll be ostracized. Okay, imagine no, that's the corn cob. Yeah, Show this is the corn cob. So you just take it and you just roll it like that. And you get a nice coating on there. And then do you put that back in the fridge, like for toast in the morning, or that butter is... That's the that, corn butter. That's, that's the corn butter. The corn butter. Yeah. So if you're in Morden, you got to have two different butter trays. Yeah, the toast butter and the corn butter. Okay, so you put the piece of butter on top. If this was the corn, you put the piece of butter there. Right. Let it wrap down. You don't do this thing. No. In the block of butter. Nope. Oh, no, the grandkids do that. Yeah. Because they got the good teeth. <laughs> Oh, they got the good teeth. Oh, you gotta cut the niblets off, do you? Right on. You've reached that point in life. Hey, we'll all be there. And this is volunteer Lysander Kalinowski. Hello, Lysander. Good to see you, sir. Good to you, Rick. Good corn, eh? Isn't it, though? Wow! Wow! It's so good. It's so sweet. Mmm! How many people are here for the big fest? 40,000 people, Rick. Unbelievable. And there's a parade. Yes. It's a big sucker, this parade. The parade is huge. It's like the largest parade in Manitoba. Oh, yes. It's like their pride parade, and they're proud of corn. We are. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. How are you? Nice to see you. So this town is home to the Baseball Hall of Fame. It is. Will we there be any one. beer drank this weekend? Oh, lots of beer. Oh, oh really? Lots oh, yeah. of beer, yeah. Actually, we got a case on here right now. Do you? Yeah. yeah. When does the parade start? Well, not until 10 o'clock. Oh, well, you need a case of beer then. <laughs> of course. OK, the parade is starting to move. I'm technically not supposed to be on the sidewalk, but I've determined that this is a cultural emergency. Hello. Hey, look, it's the War Amps. Good to see you. What's the point of this display? Well, you know, this is a rototiller, so this is just uh, warning kids about the dangers that might possibly be in their neighborhood. Do not put your arm in the rototiller. Do not put it in the lawnmower. Or do the not, lawnmower. Do not put it in the grain auger. Definitely not the grain auger. Oh, gentle. Oh, can you imagine <laughs> if I lost my foot under the War Amps that hey, float? Hang on, we got to cut through here because I need to talk to the lesbians of Morden. Hello, nice to see you all. Hello. Very good. Congratulations for coming out. I mean, to the parade. <laughs> Have a good one. Yeah. Cheers. Now, somehow, I've accidentally entered the parade without a permit, I may add. Um, hello. Nice to see you. How are you? 
But I feel terrible. I don't have a, I don't have a candy. I don't have a piece of corn. I don't have a block of butter. I got nothing to give out. Do you mind if I had a, a couple so I could re-gift them to the children? Happy corn and apple. Here you go. Look, look. We have, we have frozen treats. There you go. There you go. And I'm all shelled out. I only had five treats. Is there a convenience store around here? I got 35 cents. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Look, two bucks. Hey, see what the fire department gives you. What are we doing? Oh, fill the boot here. Fill the boot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this guy's a gentleman. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh 20 this... bucks? Oh. I was going to go for five, but the 20 slipped out. But anyway, hey. Thank you. Fill the boot. Fill the boot. I'm sorry, I have nothing. I have nothing. Nothing. Oh. I finally found my proper place in the parade.